Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you for watching this reading today. We are taking a look at what you can expect in Aries season, Scorpio. So take a look at your other placements to get a full picture and take what resonates for you. Leave anything that doesn't for somebody else. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What do you need to know? What can you expect in Aries season, Scorpio? I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel here if you haven't already. <clears throat> Hit that subscribe button and comment below and let me know who I'm reading for, okay? Scorpio, Aries season, what do they need to know? What does my Scorpio friend need to know? What can they expect? Wow. Look at this energy here. The star and the ace of swords. You're starting a brand new fresh slate in Aries season. Literally, Aries season is the beginning of the zodiac calendar. So it's like we're having New Year's all over again. And that's what I'm seeing here for you. And I feel like this New Year's for you is putting you in the spotlight. It's bringing you into balance. It's like a rebalancing for you. Wiping the slate clean, standing in your truth, you know, totally you're going in a new direction like totally new direction so interesting you may be going through some sort of a healing like uh, in your body a rebalancing a healing in your body but you're coming into wish fulfillment okay you're coming into an answered a season of answered prayers so there's something here that is starting fresh and there's something here about an answered prayer for you in this Aries season may come unexpectedly with the Knight of Swords and he's holding that Ace of Swords. So there's some sort of breakthrough. There's some sort of, you know, wiping the slate clean, starting something new. You may be just completely starting a, like a new way of being, a new way of thinking. Maybe you're starting a new relationship and um, maybe you are starting a new job. So many of you have been talking to me about that. Also, it's leading you to wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever decisions, choices that you're making right now, it's like you're on the right path, like beyond right. It is so beyond right, <laughs> if that makes sense. We have, ooh, look at, we've got justice and the, we, the queen, the queen, what, what is that about? I don't know. The queen of pentacles. So, yeah, you, it's like you're coming into this place of balance. You know, it's destined balance. These two are both destiny cards, and they are both about balance. I can't even talk, Scorpio. <laughs> Maybe you've been struggling in communication, <laughs> and here's your breakthrough. So, I don't know. Anyway. We have the sort of truth here, which you've got over here. There's destiny of balance, divine balance, karmic balance, things coming back into balance, things coming into alignment, things coming into right alignment for you. Anything that has been off, anything that has been out of balance, anything that has not served you, you've let go of, and it's like you're starting fresh in divine right alignment with everything that is for you. Now I'm seeing something here about finances. You could be starting a new business, a new stream of income, a hobby turning into a stream of income. You could have some sort of entrepreneur endeavor that you are embarking on. You could be getting a new job. So, so many of you have been talking to me about waiting for a job. You know, you've that's something that's been out of balance for you, right? Waiting for a job and being passed up for jobs. You've been being prepared for something and cancer had this as well. So if you have cancer in your chart at all, or if you're dealing with a cancer, you may want to check that reading out. But they had the King of Pentacles in the beginning. You have the Queen. But it's like you, you know, divine justice and divine uh, balance is coming in for you in the area of your job so it's like all the injustice of the past you're being given like a reward for that so expect expect your job to come through but not only that expect a bigger better job to come through whatever you are 
you know, whatever you've applied to, whatever you're going for, think bigger. The universe wants you to think bigger and you may, your brain may want to kick in and say, no, I'm not worth that. Or I could never do that. I'm telling you, so many of you are getting better jobs than you ever dreamed were possible for you because you just opened, you stepped out of the box and you thought a little bit bigger. So if you get an inspired action to send a resume here or to reach out to this person or whatever, do it. Do it, even if it doesn't make logical sense, okay? Because there's, an, there's a position that's opening up for you that is going to be created for you by the universe. It's not going to make logical sense and it may be a little too good to be true, but when you accept this position, you're going to find that it is perfect for you, but it is way bigger and better than you thought. Okay. You are coming into this place of, you know, being in the spotlight, being blessed with a prayer answered and being blessed with balance and justice for the injustice and the, un and the unfair treatment of the past. And whatever it is in the area of a job, think bigger. So some of you are going to get some sort of a leadership position that you didn't apply for. But the universe is making it so for you. And you just go right along with it, all right? You just take it because it is divinely aligned for you. Look at what is in the heart of the spread is the Ten of Pentacles. This job is setting you up for life, not only in the area of finance, but like this is your new chapter. You're going to be there for a long time, at least 10 years. You're going to put down roots and you're going to grow here and you're going to grow maybe to the top of the company. She's second in command to the king, you know, and her ace of pentacles goes to the 10. You're about to be extremely blessed in the area of your job. You could be have you could have a business being take take off. You could be have been waiting for you know sales and maybe you're have had, blah, blah. maybe you've been having a slump in your business and suddenly things are going to take off. You had to learn whatever you had to learn. So look back and see how far you've come and look back and see how strong you are now as opposed to before this happened. Look back and see what you've learned because it all set you up for such a time as this. And this is all coming into place for you right now. Okay, so it's like divinely timed, divinely aligned. You're coming into this higher version of yourself and you're being rewarded for injustice of the past. Okay, now what I also see here is that your intuition has been leading you. So trust it, trust it, whatever it's, it, whatever it's telling you, whatever it says, this is in your foundation of my spread that I'm looking at here. It's the foundation. You just trust your intuition, trust your instincts, no matter how law, illogical they may seem. Right now, we're not in the logical age anymore. We're in the age of Aquarius now where things don't make logical sense. We're being forced to drop out of our head and into our heart. And we're being forced to trust our instincts and trust our guidance from within and not think logically because our logical brains don't think big enough and they don't align with the, you know, magical ways of the universe. Things are very different now. But your intuition is leading you to this Ten of Pentacles. This is divine love. This is div like, look at all this money. This is m like legacy stuff here. You'll, you'll buy a new home, you know, start a family or leave a legacy for your family. Think bigger, follow your intuition. It's taking you to everything that you ever wanted. You know, this is very similar to, um, cancers. So you, yeah, you might want to check out cancers reading. There's some cancer energy here that I'm seeing too. And I see the two of cups and I see the lovers. So for you, and I said the same thing to Cancer, there's love and money here. It's like you're coming into the divine alignment with everything that is for you. 
doesn't have to mean that, you know, if you're already in a love situation, doesn't mean that you've got a new love situation here. It means that there's probably going to be an increase in closeness and connection in your, in your current connection. But this can mean other things. It doesn't have to mean love. This can mean you're coming into divine alignment with everything that is for you. You may get an offer of some kind. I'm really feeling, you know, most of you who have been talking to me about your job situation. I'm feeling an offer here. Like literally you're going to be offered a position from someone in authority, but it's going to set you up for life. And you just need to be confident. Be confident and think bigger. Be confident and courageous because the universe is, is like mixing up something special for you that is just perfect for you. It's like this position was made for you. And your logical brain would be like, no, yeah, no. <laughs> that was not made for me. But the universe is like, yes, it was. So just put on your confidence. Put on your courageous, beautiful, magnetic self and go after it because it's made for you. You have all the tools. You have what you need to succeed in whatever this is. So, I, you know, I've also got a divine alignment here in love, okay? So if you're looking for love, it's looking to me like the universe is bringing you right on the same path as the one that you're going to spend your life with and build a life with. This is somebody who is on the same page with you at the same time. This is somebody who's literally destined to you, for you. I mean, I've got orbs here and I've got the angel here. This is somebody who has been, it's a past life love. It's a very, very, very deep spiritual soul connection. And you're going to feel them on a very deep spiritual soul level. They are not going to match with your logical brain. They are going to be in a deep, very soul level partnership. You're going to feel it in your soul. They're going to feel like you've known them your whole life because you lived a past life with this person or multiple past lives. Okay. And you're coming back around in this life with this person. They may be a cancer because cancer had almost the identical same reading. Um, but I also feel like, and they don't have to be, don't let that worry you if you're not dealing with a cancer. Um, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See, I have this three of cups here and it came out for cancer too. A reunion. So you may know this person, you may not, but I'm feeling more like I told cancer more of like this is a past life reunion. So there you're gonna your soul's gonna recognize them is what I was trying to say. Your soul is going to recognize this person because you've lived past lives together. And they're not going to match your say you had a type in the past. Now I'm talking to single Scorpios, okay? Say you had a type in the past and you, you know, this person's not gonna match your type. I'm just telling you. With this lover's card, this person matches your soul. This person doesn't match your type. That was part of the past. And part of your future, your new chapter, this one's different. This one is not going to be anything like your past. This one is far better, okay? I've got the karma card. I've got the moon card. This, I mean, massive change happening around the eclipse. Massive change. So expect this job to unfold. Expect business to start taking off. Expect to be blessed with that star card. You are in line for miracles. You are in line for prayers being answered. You are in line for your wish fulfillment to start being uh, to start unfolding. In all areas of your life, I see everything here. But I'll expect change with this in this eclipse season. It starts in a few days, Aries season. Okay, this is all about change. And it's all about alignment and it's all about the eclipse. 
and I've got the moon here, the full moon eclipse right here. Okay. So you may be feeling the energy of uncertainty right now. You may be feeling uncomfortable. You may be feeling like something doesn't feel right. Everything feels kind of weird right now. You're, if you are, you're feeling the energy because you're a water sign. You know, you're, you're in your feelings and stuff and you have deep feelings, right? You may be feeling the energy of the moon. You may be feeling these things coming in, but you can't see anything. And you're just like, I don't know what, what am I feeling right now? I'm feeling this like intense energy. It's the moon. It's the eclipse. Breathe through it and get ready for your new beginning because your new beginning is, is starting with fresh with Aries season. Okay. And I feel like it's coming after the eclipse, although it doesn't, I mean, it could start any second. At the time of recording this, it's the 19th of March. The eclipse is on the 25th. Aries season literally starts tomorrow and the next day, depending on where you're at. And, um, but whenever you're finding this, just expect change, expect a little uncomfortableness for the next week or so. And then like everything is going to come into balance and a really positive energy coming in for you. It's going to let your passion, your fire, your zest for life, make you feel like a kid again. This is a re-spark a race spark in love, a race spark in your enthusiasm, in your faith, in your heart, in your purpose, in your passion, you're going to feel so much better. Okay. So let's get you some advice I'm using this fun little deck that I use sometimes for my friend, Amy, manifesting your greatness, which I will, I always link her YouTube in the description box if anybody's interested in these fun cards. I love them. <clears throat> Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Alright. We have take care of yourself. Self-care. Yeah. Just kind of breathe through. If you're feeling the moon, kind of breathe through all that. And if you're feeling pressured and waiting for a job and stuff, breathe. Just breathe. Take care of you. Take care of you. Follow your internal guidance. It's fell on the floor. Continue. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up because it's like you're on the verge of a breakthrough. You're on the verge of prayers being answered. I want one more card for Scorpio. Get out of your own way. Think bigger. Don't let your brain talk you out of anything, okay? Think new, see fresh. Yeah, same thing came out for cancer. This this person coming in, look at look at her. Like they're not gonna look anything like your old type, okay? Think new, think fresh, okay? Think bigger, think better. Let the universe bless you. All right, cancer. Scorpio. I love you guys. Comment below and let me know how this resonated for you and what happens for you. Get ready to be blessed. Okay. I'll see you in the next reading.